Hi Stay Stitchers, my name is Carla and welcome back to Stay Stitching. This is part two of our recent art gallery fabric um, shopping edition and all these fabrics will be available at mayfieldfabric.com and today I'm going to show you two knits and two um, cotton prints. And so let's go ahead and start with one of the knits. If you've ever sewn with an art gallery knit, you know that they are a genuine pleasure to work with. They're the ideal weight, um, not too heavy, not too light. They're beautiful, comfortable, they're not sheer, and they come in exquisite prints. Now, this print appealed to me very much because of its mid-century modern feel. I love the mustard in there which and the gray, um, which makes it, to me, wearable uh, year-round. And so I would totally make and wear this fabric all, win all fall and winter long. Um, this would make a gorgeous wrap dress. It would make gorgeous t-shirts. Anything that you would use a mid-weight cotton jersey for, you would love this for. So this is 95% cotton and 5% spandex. And you machine wash cold, tumble dry low, do not iron. And so easy, easy care. Um, absolutely adore this fabric had to have it this one is more southwesterly in feel and vibe this is always popular in colorado arizona new mexico but it fits in with anyone um like with kind of a boho um, style however this is not like unusable by someone who doesn't dress boho at all. I don't feel like it's just screams bohemian. You know what I'm saying? It's a great neutral kind of putty color with um, ivory leaves on it with little rust colored um, X's. I love the detail of the rust colored X's because rust is so big this year. So in all likelihood, you are going to add a pair of rust pants, jeans to your wardrobe. Maybe you're going to sew a rust colored pinafore. Well, what would you put underneath that pinafore? This, because it would be fantastic. Maybe you're gonna make yourself a rust colored denim jacket. This also would work for a wrap dress, a skirt, any single thing that you would make, cardigans that you would make with a mid-weight, non-sheer cotton jersey you can do with this fabric. Oh, I can't wait to get my hands on these. I think I'm going to have to quit my job. So you guys need to start buying some of this fabric because I don't have time to sew all the stuff that I want to sew. All right, so what would I do with these fabrics? This is one of my newer patterns. I bought this sometime in the last month. This is Simplicity 8265, and I love this pattern. It is so modern. It is so simple. It is so elegant and sophisticated and unfussy. Hey, I like fussy stuff, but I also really like this. And every single piece in here is gorgeous. And you could make all the pieces um, out of these fabrics. Um, I'm not sure I would do pants in these fabrics. That's just me. I would do a skirt. Hey, if you want to do pants in these fabrics, you totally go ahead. Um, they would work for that. They're not sheer or anything. Um, but love this pattern. I guess I'll have to throw these down. This pattern was a gift to me. I want to give away from Sewing Janie, Barbara at Sewing Janie. And this was one of the patterns that was in that giveaway. The giveaway was extravagant, let me tell you. Um, and I love this pattern and I think it would be gorgeous in both of um, those fabrics. This is McCall's 6844 
And I kind of want to add every single one of these views, there's four of them here, to my wardrobe. The Cozy Cardi Challenge has me all in an uproar, girls. I, I mean, I swear, I already have probably 20 cardigans in my wardrobe. I mean, this one, I love this. Got this at Dress Barn. It's gorgeous. Um, I have probably 20 of them. I'm not kidding. And now I want to sew like a dozen more this year. I really, really do. I, I, I want all the cardigans. All of them. This is another new pattern to me. Now, this is not a new pattern. It just kind of escaped me. Um, this is from 2009. I bought it new. But this is McCall's 5932. And again, I want every single view. I just, I think every single view is so awesome. I love view A out of this really bumpy, lumpy textured knit. Um, I want to find something very similar to that. I would love to throw this on over a pair of jeans, you know, and a chambray shirt, or she's got it on over a turtleneck. I don't do turtlenecks. They strangle me. Um, but I love that. And if you made this in a neutral color, like my classroom sometimes, I don't know what it is with schools, they cannot get the temperatures right. No school I've ever worked at could operate the temperatures in a, you know, even comfortable way. So you just adapt. And one of those ways that you adapt is by dressing in layers. So you can put things on, take things off. I would never go to work with just a bra on and a giant sweater because guaranteed that day my room would be 90 degrees. I always dress in layers. I always make sure that it is something that I feel comfortable completely taking off. So I'm not going to wear this with just a spaghetti strap camisole on underneath it because clearly I can't run around school with a spaghetti strap camisole on. That's not professional at all. So um, this is awesome for just throwing on over whatever. Love that pattern. This is a vintage pattern. This one is from 2004. Mm, that's not vintage. Um, but I have made the long sweatshirt and the pants, and I love them both. The long sweatshirt I made way too big. I would make that again, but in a much smaller size. Um, and so these things would be so cozy in those knits. This is a simple flowy cardigan. I bought this, I think, at the Goodwill. Um, this is simplicity. So simple. I think, are these the Walmart ones? I don't know where these, it doesn't say Walmart on it. I don't know where these came from originally, but this is 1961. And so it's just that kind of waterfally cardigan. I know these are not quite as in fashion as they were a few years ago, but, um, I still like them. I would wear that. This pattern, I have a story that goes with this pattern. This is Simplicity 1593. I cannot remember if I bought this pattern new or used. I don't see a price tag on it anywhere, so I'm thinking maybe I bought it new. But I was thinking, you know, that's a little matronly. I'm not sure about that. And then I um, saw that Rosabella Angelica... Um, this is one of her favorite. It's a tried and true pattern for her, this, this view, view B. And she makes it into a little mini dress and, of course, looks absolutely adorable in it. Um, I'm not going to do that, but it did make me feel like, well, if that hip, young London woman will wear this pattern, then so will I, right here in Pueblo, Colorado, and I'll feel like I'm hip. So I like that pattern. This one I bought new. This is Simplicity 1072. I like all the views on that. And I have some fun stuff. This is sequins. You can put anything in this little inset. I have some pleather and I have some fur. And I thought that I might just get kind of crazy with that. We'll see if I have the nerve. But I have been collecting little odd pieces of fabric that could go in the front there. And um, so these would work for all of these again. I, ne I wouldn't necessarily do the pants because these are printed and not really a pant kind of pattern, I don't think. And so that that's all for those. Then I have a couple of... Um, these are 100% premium cotton. Um, I loved the fall colors in this cotton. Cotton is comfortable to wear all year round. 
I think we all need button-up shirts in our wardrobe and I would totally make a button-up shirt in this fabric. This I would make um, a dress or a skirt and wear a slip and tights and boots out of this. There's gorgeous, um, there's olive, there's avocado, there's a, a blush, there's teal, there's light blue, there's a, um, a darker rosy corally color um, and it's all on a black background and I just love it. I think that these would make cool men's shirts as well. And remember, it is So Man Pants Month. Viv, um, Vivian from um, Stitches and Seams is sponsoring a challenge called So Man, pa so Man Pants. You can sew anything for a man or a male. And um, Mayfield Fabric is one of the sponsors. We're giving away a $30 gift certif certificate to that. So anyway, um, I think this would make a great men's shirt. And then the other one, I just loved this. This is 100% premium cotton. Um, these cottons are drapey. You can use these for quilting. People do all the time. Art gallery quilting is huge, as you probably know. However, art gallery cottons are completely acceptable for any garment, and I doubt there's a seamstress in the land who would argue with me on that. Um, when they say, you know, don't use quilting cottons on your garments, they are not talking about art gallery fabrics, I can assure you. Um, I think this would make a beautiful men's shirt as well. Um, and just a basic classic shirt in anyone's wardrobe. This is an ivory background with um, little just swirly bits on it in black. So that's gorgeous. So what would I make for the winter months out of those cottons? Um, this, is a, this is a pattern that requires both um, knits and wovens. This is New Look 6351. I love this pattern. I haven't made anything from it, but um, the little top, this Breton, Breton stripe top there, that's a knit and the rest of it is woven. And I think you could get away with um, most of those things, um, the rest of the, the pattern, excuse me, the little jacket, the little skirt, and the pants, and these, maybe not the white one for the pants, that might wind up a little sheer, I'm not sure. It's not sheer like for a blouse or a skirt, but for pants it might be. I also like this dress. Um, this dress, you can use heavier things like um, brocades, satins, shantungs, linens, and linen blends, but you can make a lighter weight one with cotton and cotton blends, pique, poplin, seersucker, sateen, chalet. So this is a versatile dress. To me, this is a year-round dress. I think you could make this dress out of corduroy. What would be wrong with that? It would be adorable in corduroy. I especially love this one with this little collar. It just screams for a little conservative uh, librarian granny cardigan, I think. Love it. This one, I love the cottons for that shirt and even for the skirt. The skirt comes in two lengths. I'm not sure I would do the pants because they're, you know, they're clam diggers. I don't think I would do the pants in that. This would be adorable in the cotton, any of those views. I am going to make this view this winter out of one of our beautiful Robert Kaufman flannels. And we have one in stock right now. It's a black, red, and gray buffalo plaid, and it is a very heavyweight flannel. And then I've ordered two more from the Robert Kaufman line of flannels. Robert Kaufman makes several different lines of flannels, and they are at different weights. And so um, I am totally wanting to make myself a little jumper um, out of that Robert Kaufman flannel, but I digress. We're not talking about that, Carla. We're talking about the cottons. And so any of these would be adorable. You just throw on a cardi, tights and boots, and you are ready to go. And then this one, I got this one at a thrift store 
I don't remember. Oh, yes, I do. I got it at a thrift store here in Pueblo. And um, I don't know if this one is still available. This is Very Easy Vogue 7315. And I think this is a gorgeous top and it is so timeless. Um, that's a thing with Vogue patterns. They're frequently timeless. Um, it's kind of odd that they can be so trendy at times and yet so many of them are so timeless. Um, there's three views here. And I think that all three of these would fit seamlessly into my wardrobe and would be gorgeous in any of those um, cottons. The, this pattern calls for um, crisper fabrics like silk-like crepe, silk-like broadcloth, and tissue file. Um, so I think that these cottons would work beautifully for them. Okay, so that's part two of Mayfieldfabric.com's art gallery shipment. I think I'm going to have to do two more videos. So just look forward to those. Um, the fabrics should already be in the shop. So if you want to go have a gander at them, feel free. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Take care. Stinging me. <laughs> okay. This is live. This is a fancy tiger top. <laughs>